Hi everyone. Um, I wanted to give you a tour of my closet because I had a lot of questions about, well, I keep talking a lot about eBay on my social media and how much I buy on there. And I figured I'd give you guys some tips and tricks. Um, so I guess I'll just show you some of my clothes. Um, and yeah, if there are any like tips I can give you while I show you, I will give them. Um, I want to start off by saying I was once like a compulsive shopper. Um, I would, for no good reason, um, make massive purchases from ASOS uh, because they had free return shipping. And so I would just order like a fuck ton and then return a bunch. And even the things I kept that I, that fit me, I would only wear them like once or twice. Um, and I found that with my like mental health journey and stuff, like sort of the way that I consumed or like bought clothes changed as well. Um, cause I think a lot of things slowed down for me and I became less, um, concerned with like keeping up with certain trends. Um, and I think I've really narrowed down my style which is really teensy tiny mini mini dresses dad shirts mom jeans and racing jackets <laughs> that's everything that's basically what i wear all the time um so i figured i'd give you some tips i'll show you some stuff i got off ebay um and what i searched try to try to get to them um and yeah, so maybe this video will be helpful for you. I would say at this point, about a third of my closet is eBay. Um, some of it's vintage, some of it's um, just secondhand stuff. Like I have a bunch of secondhand reformation because I don't really buy them new anymore. Because um, they're not actually that environmentally friendly. So I just, I, I just buy them on eBay now. Um, so I'll show you some of the stuff that I have. Um, over here, I have my long dresses. A lot of this stuff is on eBay. A lot of it's urban out somewhere. Um, let's see. Oh, well, sometimes I buy stuff knowing that it's not really going to be, the silhouette isn't flattering, but that I'm going to redo it. So let's see this, but it doesn't, it's way too big, but, um, Learning to sew is what may be one of the most useful things you can ever do for yourself, especially if you're on the smaller side. I'm like 5'1", so everything is going to take a little bit of altering. But um, I'm hoping to just like straight up... See, I got this for 20 bucks because of the, um, the fabric, and I really love like cotton, like pure cotton. Um, if I ever get around to it, I plan on hacking the skirt off, putting darts in the back to pull it in and then chopping like half of the skirt off, making it a cute little mini dress. Um, let's see, I also got like a nighty, uh, and this is Diane von Furstenberg. It's just like a cute nighty. It's so soft. I love to go for, um, when I search things, I like to search for 100% cotton because I do really love like the feeling of cotton um and this is very comfortable this next one um is one of my favorites that I've ever bought maybe I'll show it to you while I'm doing it but um I feel like I should have this lower down a bit um I got this beautiful very 50s um kind of day dress um and the straps were too short so I just put some pink ribbon um for now uh, but it's just really really beautiful and the trick is you can find more dresses like this search lands cotton on ebay um and a lot of kind of cotton dresses will come up um this next one i have to take the lining out entirely because it's funky and weird um but i'm just showing you like what you can find on ebay but is that not like the cutest thing you've ever seen? Yeah. And they wrote me the cutest note when they sent it. They're like, hope you feel like you're in mad man, mad men stepping out in there. Um, oh, I got this from eBay. It's not vintage, but I just got, it was a reformation gown and I got it for like, 
I think like a hundred less than it goes for. I mean, the dress was still like 200 bucks, but like it's much cheaper. Um, okay. Ooh, um, I have this dress from the seventies. Um, it is a gun sacks dress. They were a big dress maker in San Francisco, like in the sixties and seventies. And, uh, they're really popular for their prairie dresses. Um, prairie style those tend to go for like a fuck ton of money um I had a white one I don't know if any of you would remember that but I did have a white one before I bought this the white one was very bridal and I don't know when I'd wear it I don't know when I'll wear this either but I really love um this type of fabric that has the it's just so cute to me um so yeah kept that I don't know when I'm gonna wear it <laughs> but it's cute uh Oh, um, more Reformation things I've just got off eBay because it's cheaper on eBay and then you're not creating more waste. I got that. Um, got this on eBay, which is Reformation. Really heavy linen dress. I actually don't recommend, I don't know what the name is of this, but I find it to be kind of uncomfortable. You wouldn't believe how heavy the thickness of the linen on this is. Um, and then I got this one. Jesus Christ, it's like too heavy to even hold it. And then I got this one, which was kind of the sweetest thing because I had to do a lot of alterations. When it's on, I don't know how to show you guys this stuff. Uh, when it's on, it has ties. So I tie it like that. Anyway, it looks a lot nicer. But um, I went in to make alterations on the inside of this dress and there were already alterations and it just felt really sweet that like this has gone through several people who are taking the time to like make it perfect for themselves and then passing it on. I think it's funny, once I started shopping on eBay, I had a very different relationship to clothes. I think it's a lot more sentimental as opposed to just like having enough or like having, um, I don't know what other people have. Um, okay. So those are some of my short dresses. Uh, do I have any from eBay? I do here. Oh, yes. Um, so for mini dresses, this is more of kind of like a nighty, but I got this beautiful dark green satin um, slip that is um, Perrier Jouet champagne they released i think it was in the early 2000s they had a collection with the champagne i yeah it says perrier jouet <laughs> romance collection yeah um i think in the early 2000s for some reason they put out a lingerie line and i was like yeah champagne and lingerie i'll take it uh, so let's see mm. i got this off eBay, which is a little under, under slip, and it's 100% cotton, and it's so soft. Um, I'm not going to wear it under things. I'll just wear it as a regular dress. Um, but yeah, again, I don't know how old this is, but it looks beautiful. It has really, really, really nice lace at the bottom. It's really soft as well. Um, and oh, these are. This is one of the companies I will buy from new. Um, I don't know if you've seen this in my videos before, but I don't even know how I came across them. There's a brand called Kitney. I wonder if I was pulled into their marketing because I'm obsessed with cats, but, um, she makes these like beautiful, like really kind of angelic, um, pure cotton dresses, which I'm obsessed with because I just love the feeling of cotton and I love, I just like the, the vibe is great. If you have a look at Kitney, um, I have my eye on like six other dresses right now, but I just bought a house, so I can't really swing for it, um, but I will soon. Um, so yeah, Kitney, cute. Also, I believe that they're made in the US, um, so it's a little, I don't feel so bad about buying it new. Um, let's see. This I bought new from Reformation when I was drunk. 
downtown in New York City. And I wanted to go to a really pretty bar and I wasn't wearing nice enough clothes. And for some reason, because I was really drunk, I walked into a Reformation, tried this on and paid for it, like put it on and paid for it, walked out and went to the bar I wanted to go to. I don't really fit in it anymore. So there's that. Um, uh, yeah, I'll just show you the shit that I actually wear a lot of. Oh, I got this off eBay. Reformation, baby. It's just a simple off the shoulder little black dress. Um, but I got it for like half price because it was used on eBay. Um, got this shirt on eBay, also Reformation. Um, oh, I have some fun t-shirts. Uh, this is the other thing. I, um, most of the time, I really like, I really enjoy being super, super feminine. Um, but if I'm not, I'm in just a man shirt and sweatpants. Um, yeah, when I'm not being like girly and wearing cute stuff, I literally only wear shirts that are like for someone probably four times my size and I wear sweatpants, but I'll show you my nice stuff for when I get dressed up. Um, Okay, here are all my short sleeve shirts and t-shirts. Let's see. Here's some Bellwater Gap merch. Um, this is very much berries and cream. <laughs> Can you tell? I haven't worn it yet. Um, a man's shirt. Well, a man shirt, whatever. This has been in my closet for... This is one thing I wouldn't have expected to stay around. It's a Forever 21 shirt, but it's timeless. Forever 21 managed to make a timeless shirt. Um, and it's actually still in pretty good condition. Um, okay, we're getting to the good part. All right, some other fun stuff I found. So um, t-shirts, uh, well, here's the thing. When you're looking on eBay, you have to be ready to spend like a lot of time sorting through pages and pages. That's where I found this stuff. Like, it's not like you're going to go on and it'll be right in front of you and you, you can just buy your dream dress or whatever. You have to search and search. But anyway, uh, one of my most recent purchases was this really adorable t-shirt. Apparently it's French vintage. I have been hurt before. I don't know. Uh, it's supposed to be by Pierre Cardin. It does say made in Italy, 100% cotton. I don't believe it. It looks a, little, looks a little off to me, but no one else can tell, so it doesn't matter. Um, ooh, I haven't worn this yet, but it's one of the most beautiful purchases I've made on eBay. Um, it's this really, really lovely light yellow um, sweater, and it's 100% cashmere. It's so soft, and it's I think I paid $20 for this. She looks so excellent. I can't believe they gave me her for $20. It's so soft. That's also the nice thing. You can, if you're interested in buying natural textiles because natural textiles are more beneficial to the environment because they break down better than all the plastic shit um, that's in our clothes today. You can buy it guilt-free when you're buying it secondhand if that makes sense. Like, I don't mind buying animal products if they're off eBay and like they're from the seventies. Like there's nothing to be done now. I mean, so yeah. And then if I go to throw this out at some point, which I don't know, it's so beautiful. I'd probably give it to someone. But um, if I were to throw it out because it is wool, like natural wool, um, it disintegrates or at least as far as I know. Um, so something else to worry about if you didn't need you needed something else to think about all the time. Um, is your, are your clothes made of plastic? Because if they are, if you throw them out, they're sitting in landfills. Um, okay. Oh, also I haven't said it already, but um, the prices of most of these things that I bought have ranged between 20 and $50 when it comes to the Reformation stuff, which is basically new, but just being maybe someone wore it once for an event. I'm going to be paying pretty close to the 
price, but it'll be maybe 50 bucks or 75 bucks cheaper. So those will go for above 100. It's like 100, 150. Um, but all these other things really between 20 and 50 bucks. Um, and I will say it sounds like a lot, um, but it is no lie that clothes were made better <laughs> like 20, 30 years ago. Um, the shit you can buy now um, really does fall apart really quickly. Um, and there's just no reason to buy new stuff. Everyone has so much, and there's so much cool stuff. Anyway, so I have some t-shirts up here. Oh, here. Okay, my favorite thing is t-shirts. Um, I have this one. I love this color green. Green is really like, I guess my thing. Um, I don't know if I said this already, but if you are still buying like graphic tees or like slouchy tees and stuff from Urban Outfitters, love yourself and go to a Goodwill because they really like all the comfy t-shirt section of Urban Outfitters is just a knockoff of just like every Goodwill dad dad shirt section. Um, I got this for super cheap, mostly because of the color. And I just liked the way it looked. Um, for t-shirts, to soften them, I will soak them in salt water for um, as long as I can, basically. Um, and that helps take off any remaining, like, dye or wax or anything that's making it kind of, like, harder. Um, so, let's see what else I got here. Oh, uh, no, that was new. The rest of the stuff must be yeah, okay. I still got more to show you. Um, I'll get to my jacket collection because that's my favorite. But um, let's see what we have here. Oh, um, I like sweatshirts from universities I've never been to. So <laughs> this is a great sweatshirt. Also. I really, I think a study should be done. I think there's something psychologically different about buying a used sweatshirt as opposed to buying a new one because it already is kind of pilled on the inside. It never is, becomes old to me. Like I, um, I used to find that like, I'm, I'm sure it's a fa fairly common kind of experience that when I would buy clothes the time at which I was most euphoric about them was when I got the tracking saying that they were delivered. And then it was downhill from there, if that makes any sense. It was like, that almost wasn't the point. It was like, ooh, I have something coming to my house. Um, or you would wear kind of a dress once or twice and then it loses its shine or whatever. There's something about buying things secondhand where you don't have that euphoria at the beginning, but they just kind of they just kind of scooch their way into your regular, um, like what you're wearing every day. I don't know. I just, um, yeah, I think buying used sweatshirts is really the place to go because I used to buy a lot of sweatshirts and I didn't like how they were initially so fuzzy and then they weren't. And I know that I'm just buying one that's already been defuzzified, but, um, it doesn't bug me. And I keep wearing it. I keep washing it. I keep wearing it. So, um, let's see. Uh, I got this from eBay. Nice, comfy little um, sweatshirt. The good thing is, like, the good thing about eBay is, like, I can be basic, but I can be basic in peace, not copying other people. It's like, do I claim to have an amazing sense of fashion? No. But the best I can do is at least not buy the shit that everybody else is buying. Um, I'm just trying to see if I have any more. Okay, back onto the eBay jackets. My favorite eBay jacket. This one. <laughs> um, a lot of people have asked me about this one. Um, I will say... Finding this was a debacle. Uh, I put a little kind of alert on red Ferrari jackets. Um, so it would email me every time a new one was um, listed. Uh, the big problem with these now 
is because they're kind of been mythologized by Lana Del Rey wearing them, is that they're now doing reproductions um, and they're all over eBay. Uh, and so if you want like the original, you have to do a bit of digging. I had to do a bunch of digging until I found one of these that wasn't like 500 bucks. Um, but I will say it's worth trying to find the original because they are incredibly nice jackets. Like aside from the fact that they look cute, um, it's so cozy, it's so soft. I wear it regularly because it's a nice jacket, not just because like it looks cool. So if you're looking for racing jackets, be really, really careful of reproductions because they're all, unless you don't care, but um, they're all over the site. Um, I got this jacket off eBay too. I don't know whose jacket it was. It's a good old Wrangler um, denim jacket. All my clothes are like large sized. I'm five foot one, but I just prefer everything to be oversized except for mini dresses. <laughs> and I want them to be short, <laughs> but everything else is pretty much oversized. Anyway, I found this denim jacket. Cute, right? And it's cute, right? I got it for like 30 bucks, okay? And it's a Wrangler denim jacket. So it's also like the, it's obviously flashy fun, um, but it's like a nice ass denim jacket and I got it for 30 bucks. Um, and then also this one I got in a vintage store, um, a Chevy jacket, the heartbeat of America. Um, I love jackets and also now I can um, justify it because we live in Nashville and I feel like Nashville weather is a jacket type of town. Like I don't think winter gets to like full on coat. Um, let's see, do I have anything else to show you? Ooh, I have these really cute, I don't usually buy shoes um, on eBay because I'm very much like I wear Birkenstocks or converse um and i just kind of buy them new and wear them into the ground but for um more kind of fancy stuff um i really wanted a pair of like y2k like strappy little kitten heels and they appeared to me these two um uh jimmy Choo for 40 bucks um obviously they were worn before um i've also worn them but um I think it's a little different. Like I'll do these second hand, um, but just everything else I just end up wearing, wearing a lot. So it doesn't make sense. Um, I think that's kind of all of it. Just before I ended this video, I wanted to give you guys my quick tips to having a successful time on eBay because a lot of people will ask me where I get stuff and I say eBay and then they'll go home and they'll go on eBay and then they'll be like, it's a trash fire. How do you find things? Um, so I have a couple tips. Number one, take your measurements. Um, for most people, um, male and female, you're going to want to take your shoulder width. Um, for men, you want the chest, women, you want chest as well. Anyway, um, waist size, which is you only need if you're going to be wearing like your true natural waist. You only need that if you're going to be wearing, um, women clothes I don't know um and then you need your hip at the widest spot so like kind of like where your butt is your inseam which is right up from the end of your leg down to where you like your jeans to hit um and then I like to also have um the length of mini dresses that I like uh so you measure from your shoulder to the part of your leg that you like mini dresses to hit so have those next to you at all times while you're looking. Second, um, take advantage of the filters, but not the size filters because the size filters are useless because they're not kind of, um, they're not all made equal and you'll filter out a lot of good stuff by trying to use those. So never use the size filters. Um, I like to search the thing I want, then search it in the vintage category and then I'll usually choose between like the 60s and the 90s um because you can choose the decades it came from um and go from there 
Um, and then it's just scrolling. You have to scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll until something captures your eye. Mm. And then the next tip is if you find something and you really, really like it, don't buy it right away. Add it to your list, your watch list, and give it 24 hours. The person selling it will most likely send you um, an offer for less, like maybe 15, 20% off the item. So never buy anything right away. Um, let's see what else, what other tips? Check your measurements. Um, yeah, and then once you get your clothes home, um, I am a bit of a freak. Like I really don't like anything smelling like anything other than me. Um, secondhand clothes, they don't smell bad in any way. It's not like it's a bad smell, but most secondhand clothes have been sitting somewhere for a while. So often you get kind of this atticy smell, which I don't like because I don't want to, I don't want that on my body. I know it, I'm a little insane, but I like, don't like having that feeling on my body. So what I do, um, is I give all my new clothes and I soak in like a, probably like a cup of vinegar to a gallon of water, maybe. And I have them soak in there from 12 to 24 hours depending um if it's whites that seem like they might be a little faded i do it for more uh, because it'll brighten up all the original colors um and it's pretty gentle you usually don't have to worry about it for most things um and then i take them out of there give them a good wash and then they're just like they smell like your other clothes um if you have bought secondhand clothes you probably know about the smell i'm talking about um but vinegar really does the job um with that and then my second um and I guess last tip is for your denim or your t-shirts uh, to give them a good long soak in really, really salty water if they are too stiff. If they're not kind of like soft enough, do that. Um, I found that that really softens them up. Um, but yeah, that's my closet tour and some tips get on ebay it's fun don't take all the stuff that i'm gonna buy though maybe i'll show you my watch list on the next video um because i have a lot of cool shit in there um 